Trophy Superstore Premier League. Proudly supported by the Trophy Superstore. For all your trophies, awards and more. Welcome to the FBTV feature game. I'm Darren Lutton. We're at a packed Underwood Park for this Trophy Superstore Premier League clash between Rochdale Rovers and Lions. We've just seen the Legends game just been played before and now it's time for the main game. Both teams are fired up for this. There's a big crowd, should be a big game. Let's get straight to the action. Calling the game is Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Dasby. Certainly the biggest crowd I've seen at Underwood Park in recent times. Rochdale's effort in promoting this fixture, obviously paying off with the crowds flocking in and looking forward to this round 13 Trophy Superstore Premier League match. As referee Michael Bozov has control of this one, assisted by Carmelo Pulverenti and Brad Burton. It's Lions that get us underway in the first half. Played upfield there by Nathan Reed. And free kick here for Lions from Warren Moon. Delivered in and the sharp header on there, I think, from Nathan Reardon, is it? Falls wide regardless. Sergeant. Oh, and Butler. He's gone down. Already heavily strapped around that hamstring and immediately clutched at it as he was going to ground. And oh, yeah, just there. See the right hand on that right hamstring. Being assisted back to his feet here by Sean Carlos. Andy Butler's night is done. Rochdale. Played downfield here for Mustafa Jafari. A recent signing from Olympic. Baird. Poked here through for Daryl Grant. Daryl Grant has the opening goal here for Rochdale. The Lions players looking for the offside call. And on that graphic, looks as though the assistants made the right decision. Lions caught short at the back there. Daryl Grant unmarked. And Phil Zabax as the last line of defence. Unable to stop it. As we take a look at Daryl Grant's expert finish from behind on the Packfire Australia GoPro replay. Long clearance here from Aparicio. Headed on there for Baird and now Sargent. He goes down. Free kick here to Rochdale. Play quickly. Here's Shizuno. Shot straight to Zabax. Alive again for Shizuno. On towards Sargent. Quick thinking. Picks out Shizuno. And his right footed effort. Straight to Phil Zabax. Corner here to Lions. Over the head of Aparicio. Khan lines it up. Coming on as a substitute. In the absence there of Butler. Carlos back out for Moon. McNichol. Oh, he's brought down by Warren Moon. Immediately comes across to Michael Bozoff and says, Booking just goes to prove there's no sentiment to close friends and former co coaches out at Peninsula. No compassion on a football field. And after all that, Scott McNichol, after all his protests, will be the one who goes into Michael Bozoff's. Notebook. So 1 0 at the break as we launch into second half action. And that Lions player brought down. And once again, McNichol protesting the case. Moon with the free kick. Oh, and it's ended up past Aparicio. Lions have equalised. Moon's free kick. Looks to have evaded everyone over the head there of Todd Garver. And we'll see this ball drifting into the back of the net from Warren Moon's free kick. Aparicio reacts late. Yeah, just spots it there at the last moment. I think he thought 
that Aoki was going to get a touch on it. Instead, goes in unaided. Lines back on level turns within the first 10 minutes of the halftime break. As Khan forces Aparicio into action here. Got the foot on it. Aparicio cleans up. Played short there for Moon. On for Khan. Oh, what a finish! Show heel Khan! Aparicio was flat footed. Khan drifts it into the far post. Aparicio is just looking on. Packfire Australia GoPro replay. Aparicio. We'll have to go and pick it out. Sergeant. Here's McNichol. Through the channel for Jafari. Who's caught offside. Let's see if we can get a look at that one. And on that angle. Does though Jafari timed his run well. Khan on for Aochi at the edge of the box. Shot here, Aparicio gets it the second grab. Shizuno played back for Grant. And now Jafari is unmarked and once again the assistance flags up. Now let's see if we can have a look at that one. And that one looks to be a good decision. So Jafari certainly showing his intent. Rochdale attempt to clear their defensive lines here. And this time, Warren Moon can't escape the attention of Michael Boshoff. Simic. Carlos with the turn, trying to get around Grant. Pokes it through here for Khan. Shahil Khan! Gives his side the third, his second on the Knights. Celebrations all round. Shahil Khan had his injury battles last year after a breakout, 2013. And tonight looks to be getting back into the kind of form that he did display the year before last. A double for him on the night. And after Lions conceded the opening goal, it's now three unanswered goals as that man Aochi looks to get himself on the scoreboard now. Square ball. Trying to find some room. Number four for Lions, and that'll do it. Andre Bonotto, the latest on the scoreboard. Aochi plays his ball square. Janoski leaves it for the Brazilian. And Andre Bonotto able to beat Aparicio at his near post. Good look at it from behind on the Packfire Australia. GoPro replay. Aparicio diving to his right. Unable to cut the angle down. Perhaps some late life here for Rochdale. Ball played on. Referee blows the full time whistle. Lions have come away 4 1 winners here at Underwood Park over Rochdale in this round 13 Trophy Superstore Premier League match. Mark, what were your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, oh, disappointing is the first thought that comes to mind. Um, I thought we actually played quite well. They, they sort of dominated us for the first 20 minutes and we changed things a little bit and it, it brought us back into the game. And I thought we played quite help well towards the end of the first half. Um, got the goal, which, which got us ahead in the game, like we were at power last week. Um, had a couple of other chances. I think Seji had one and another one where we had a little chance in the box where we didn't play the right ball or whatever it was. And... Could have been 2-0 up at half-time, but not to be. Um, again, thought we started well at the start of the second half too, and up until their goal, um, thought we were, we were well worth it. So, 
Um, we tend to have our five minutes of madness each week and, and unfortunately it's happened again and we're 2-1 down from a, a super goal from Shahil. Um, very similar to the goal we conceded round one against them. Um, and then from there, we tried to get back in it, but once they got the third, it's all over and, and we, we go again next week. We're very, very disappointed. We're disappointed not to get something out of it. Um, more at ourselves. We know their quality and they're a good side and we, we feel like we've, we've played quite well and, and matched them quite well at times, but we, we can't do it for 90 minutes and that's, that's our biggest problem is ourselves at the moment, I think. Results aside, it was a fantastic atmosphere tonight. It must have been great for the, uh, the lads to play in front of such a big crowd. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there slowly. So to have the uh, Legends game on before before our game was a, a great initiative. I think I think Rossi and Scotty both heavily involved in that. Um, so that's that was really good to see all the old boys. A lot of boys that Scotty and I played our first games for Rochdale with when we were young. So um, still overawed when I walked in that dressing room and all these players, Brattons and Harrises and Koshes and Davidsons are all standing there. So. Um, we tried to get a lot of kids here tonight. Um, it, it's just great to see the place buzzing again. And we're disappointed that we couldn't have put, got the result that, that the crowd wanted. But um, to see the place really buzzing, starting to buzz again. And Scotty being here as a technical director full time is really good. And he's very good with all the kids and getting them along to games and, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, wonderful, wonderful atmosphere and great for the lads to play in front of it. Congratulations, Warren. That turned into a runaway win at the end. Oh, it was a good win in the end. It wasn't easy. No, that's for sure. We had to, uh, we had to work very hard for that. So uh, we're just delighted to win. It was, um, it was a tough game. They're a good side. Uh, they've been unfortunate all year with injuries. And uh, you can see the difference it made with a, even just a couple back tonight that they were, you know, much more organised and tougher to break down. And, uh, and they're more dangerous. They looked a good side. And, you know, it might not be their year this year, but certainly if they can get those boys on the park next year, they're certainly going to give um, a few sides a shake. So... Turning to your side, what uh, really pleased you about tonight's effort? Oh, just a bit of fight, a bit of character. You know, we, took, we know we're a good side, but, um, you know, you've got to come to places like these and get results. We, uh, we went 1-0 down, and to be fair, it could have been two. They, they, uh, they rattled us for 20 minutes there in the first half, and we, uh, we had to dig deep. We went in at halftime. We didn't panic. Um, and we show great composure, you know, to, to come back win 4-1 after, um, like I said, being down at halftime, it, it's uh, pleasing for me. And it, turn, it looks, in the end, a good win. It was a hard-fought win, and it was, it was pleasing to the, uh, the boys show great character. And in front of a big crowd tonight. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I mean, this club, you know, Scotty's doing great things here. You know, the, uh, the organisation of the, the, uh, the 99 um, Old Boy reunion before brought a big crowd in, and great to see some old faces and some very good players in the day. And... Um, uh, yeah, it brought a good crowd and a great atmosphere. So it was really great to play in front of and um, great to see some, some old faces of the past as well.